All right, I'd like to get started, please, with chapter two. <clears throat> so just to give you a heads up, uh, chapter two has got a lot of, lot of math in there, a lot of math, a lot of rules, a uh, lot of interesting stuff in there, okay? Correct the homework? Okay, well, well, let's kind of reverse it. Let me start out with the lecture, then those people who need help, I can help out, okay? All right, so if you take a look at the uh, title of chapter two, yo! Yes? Someone took your bag? It's probably those boys at the back. Just take them on out, shoot them, that's okay. Uh, so chapter two is about polynomials and rational functions, okay? And we're going to do so many things with them. We're going to graph them. We're going to solve equations that have polynomials in them. We'll learn about complex numbers. We'll graph rational functions, talk about asymptotes. You know, what can you graph? We will talk about domain, talk about range. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff in Chapter 2, just a lot of stuff. Okay, so you really have to uh, practice your problems and make sure you understand and remember it's not just understanding but remembering all the rules is going to be the real issue okay so giving you a heads up on chapter two so we're going to start out uh, simply today and talk about quadratic functions however what i've given you here is an example of what a polynomial looks like what a polynomial looks like okay and a quadratic function is a very specific type of a polynomial okay So if you want to take a look at this definition or this example of a polynomial, can someone tell me what you observe there? What do you observe? What are the few things that you observe in there? At least there's one major thing that you should observe, okay? One primary thing that you should observe. Uh, yeah, Ray, uh, Ray. Ray, right? Ray? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were raising your hand, dude. No. no? You're just trying to scratch Nate? Yeah. Yeah, just kind of reach out instead of up. Okay? Yeah, Sean. Sorry? What about the exponents? What do you see? Sorry? The whole positive numbers. <laughs> well, it doesn't say about the exponents, though, right? Does it? So that was a good connection. I mean, the two of them tagged. Nice. Right? He gave you part and you gave the other part. That's good. Okay? Yeah, by the way. Yeah, I mean, in a general polynomial, they don't have to. This is in a standard form, okay? If you write it in a standard form, then the highest exponent is what you start out with, okay? So the one key is that all your exponents are positive, and they're all whole numbers. In other words, you don't get x to the one-third. Okay, Thomas, Chupka. Okay? You don't get x to the one-third, you don't get x to the one-half, x to the three-quarters, x to the negative two, you don't get that. Okay, so they're all positive whole numbers. The other thing you notice is that it has all real numbers as coefficients. Need I explain coefficients to you? Do you all understand what coefficients are? Need I explain that? Say, say so if you need me to, okay? This is a class, we are learning. Ray, yes? No? What's a whole number? What's a real number? Not a complex number. What's a complex number? Not a real number. <laughs> yeah, very helpful, yeah. Complex number you should know from algebra 2 is something that has an i in it, square root of negative 1. Okay? All right, is everybody there? Okay, uh, nobody wants me to explain coefficients? Everybody good? Yeah? Okay. So can you guys give me some, uh, examples of some simpler polynomials? Give me examples of simpler polynomials. Uh, anybody raising their hand? I gave you something that was pretty complicated, so someone want to give me uh, a simpler one? Yeah, Thomas? Sorry, fx equals? Okay, does anybody know the name of this? Doesn't matter what, quadratic. 
Anybody else want to give me something else? Sorry? Binomial? Trinomial? That's not a trinomial. That would be a cubic. Yeah, you don't call this a trinomial. Trinomial would be one with three variables in it, x, y, z. Again, trinomial. Uh, anybody else? How about something simpler than a quadratic? 4x plus 4, and what is this called? Linear, quadratic, and what about something simpler than a linear? Can't be x, because x would be a straight line. Just a number. Just a number. You want to use 4 as a number? So this is your constant polynomial. If you want to graph these things, this would be a straight line. This would be a slopey line, okay? This would be a U-shape. This guy would be something funky like that, okay? And you're going to study all, graphing all these things, okay? I mean, we're not going to graph constant and linear, okay? That was done at Gomes. Even quadratic was probably done between Gomes and Hopkins. Somewhere in between there, you kind of, probably in the creek there, you are probably doing quadratic. There's a creek there, right? Isn't there a creek there? Yeah, so probably when you're playing in the creek, you are doing quadratic out there. Okay, but well, we're going to do all the uh, the higher order ones later. Yeah, question. All right. Uh, here's the most general way of writing a polynomial. Yeah, you want to take this down. Are you guys taking notes? Okay, I'll take this down. Okay, this is the most general way of writing a polynomial. The most general way. A sub n minus one. Da 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 da. All the way to a zero. What are they called? What are they called? What's a n? a sub n minus 1. The way you read this is a sub n because it's a subscript as opposed to a superscript. Okay, a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub 0. What are those called? Uh, it was just a term that I showed you in the previous slide and I asked you, do you want me to go over it? And you said no. They are coefficients. They are coefficients. Okay, they're coefficients. And again, it tells you that n is a non-negative integer. In other words, it could be 0, but otherwise they're all uh, positive. Okay? Positive or 0 is non-negative. Okay, so we've kind of gone over this. Okay, I'm going to skip over this. We've done this. Okay? Constant, linear, quadratic, cubic. The next one would be, anybody remember the next one after cubic? Quartic, nice, good job. And after quartic? Nice, good job. Good job. Okay, so let's not worry about that. So let's talk about graphs of quadratics. Okay, so you all know that a quadratic looks like a U shape, right? Looks like a U shape. No, are you taking notes? So you guys know when it's opening up and when it's opening down? When does it open up? Coefficient of what? Of x squared. Nice. Of leading coefficient is positive, and if it's negative, it's opening down. Okay. And we'll talk about how to graph all these things, all the rules and all that stuff. Okay. Everybody got this down? Udara, are you eating and taking notes at the same time, or are you doing only eating? Don't I don't see no pen in your hand, dude. Where's your pen? Okay. So we there, Usman. Eva is going to be looking after you, okay? She's going to play mom with you. So if I have any complaints, I need to talk to her. Okay, is everybody all right on this? Everybody get this down? Lee Fang? Got it? Okay, so the book wants to call this the standard form. I don't like that notation. I like this to be called the vertex form because very obvious when you look at it what the vertex is. Is everybody okay on that? So if you want to look at this equation here, where is the vertex at? Where is the vertex at? Sorry? No, no, this one here. 
H comma K, and the one at the bottom, okay, Elizabeth, is the one you're kind of mouthing off, 2 comma 3. Okay, so this is called the vertex form. I'd rather call this the standard form, so please make note, okay, your book doesn't call this the standard form, your book calls this the standard form. So don't get confused, okay, whether you're reading your book or you're listening to me or reading your notes. Okay, I call this the vertex form because it tells you right away what the vertex is. Okay? All right? And what you're going to learn is we're going to learn how to go from uh, standard to vertex and vice versa. Okay? So I want to go to the vertex form from this standard form. Okay? Everybody get the equation down? Yeah? Can I start on it? Sure? Okay. Sean, you look like you know what you need to do. You've got this mean look on you. Why is he doing these dumb things like we did this in Algebra 1, then again in Algebra 2, now again in pre-count? How dumb can that be? Okay, what do you need to do? Why wow, you got this look of know it all, man? Yeah, you do. Nate? Hey? Not factor out x. Anybody? Yeah. So no. Well, not factor two x. Factor. Sorry. Who's that? What was that, sir? Two. Factor the two out there. Don't do it out of the five. What is this process called? Anybody know what this process is called? Yeah, completing the square. Completing the square. So what you're going to do is in here, you're going to add, you're going to take the coefficient of x. What's the coefficient of x? Negative two. It'll take half of it. Negative one. You'll square it. One, but what have you really added? What have you really added? You've really added two, right? So you should really subtract two so things haven't changed. You guys with me on this? Is everybody with me on this? You do not, hang on, you do not move things over. I'm not trying to solve a quadratic equation. Okay, I'm not trying to solve a quadratic equation. All I'm trying to do is go from a standard form to a vertex form. So there's no question of moving things over. Okay, there is no move over. Okay, you have a question, Subi. Okay, so then this turns out to be equal to 2, and this is going to be x minus 1 squared. So this guy will be your half of b, half of the coefficient of x. So if your coefficient of x is negative 2, it will be half of that, which is negative 1. Okay, plus 5 minus 2. So your vertex is at, nice, 1 comma 3. Is everybody all right on that? Okay, so this process is called completing the square. Okay, is everybody there? Sorry? Okay, Elizabeth, what? See, because I added 2 here, if you look at this. So I got to get rid of it because I can't, I'm not solving an equation. It's not like I'm taking things over. Okay, you want to keep the same thing. So you add and subtract, well, that's not changing anything. Okay? Uh, do we graph on this thing next? Yeah, examples of graphs by hand. Okay, so we're going to do this without a graphing calculator. Uh, notice that on tomorrow's test, uh, tomorrow's test, there is no graphing calculator. Uh, you may use a regular cal calculator, yes. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take this standard form and put it in vertex form. Okay, let's go for it. Now, this one, you are lucky because the coefficient of x.